Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm doing a slight uh, tutorial on the uh, Chevrolet MyLink system. Um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I don't go totally into depth um, with the settings on them, but um, today I'm going to kind of go over it so uh, when we look at other Chevys, you kind of know what I'm talking about. They're not all the same, but um, it gives you a good enough point on to how to work the uh, the system here. Um, I can pretty much go from left to right. I mean, you go with audio. You have the Sirius XM CD media player. Um, you have AM, FM radio. Um, you can kind of get your station if you wanted to by just hitting that little button there. Um, going back here. Um, and of course, I mean, if you had it hooked up through your phone, you could do that as well. And uh, yep, yeah, I mean, it's pretty basic as a radio system itself. It's nothing too crazy. Um, and I guess if you want to switch kind of, you know, from Sirius XM to AM or uh, AM to FM, uh, it kind of sets it right there. Um, and I mean, you just hold this in here and he sets it for 105.7. Um, and these little things kind of are tabs for the radio stations. They're all the same. It's generic, I guess. Um, but just as an example, it just shows it right there um, as a quick access to that channel there. Go to the home page. Um, your phone, actually, my phone is already hooked up. I use this as a demonstration um, when I was presenting it to a customer. But um, just a few things. I mean, you can get your contacts, your recents, um, voicemails, everything pretty much through the MyLink system with your phone already hooked up. I'm obviously not going to show you any anything crazy here. You can use the voice for. Um, sorry, this is the voicemail. Uh, you can use voice for pretty much, you know, the Bluetooth um, where you want it to set up through. Um, and then you can even do, I'm not going to hit contacts or anything or recents, um, but you can hit keypad and you can call people from the MyLink system if you don't want to grab your phone for some reason. You just want to use this to preserve the uh, battery life. And uh, we can go home again. Home button right there. Um, the projection mode, I explained on couple other videos as well bring it over to down here the USB port you hook it up with your phone um, you hit projection uh, not only does it charge your phone but your phone pretty much becomes a screen so uh, Pandora your maps and everything would show up on there so pretty much is like a uh, onboard navigation uh, you can see text voicemails just like you, I just showed you before but I mean a whole screen would kind of be your phone it's a great feature to have I mean especially in today's world it's a, a great bonus um, on star navigation in the corner here um, it's kind of I can actually show you right here really quick there it goes um, might be a little hard to see it's not zooming in on it um, but I mean if you're stranded or something it's just a, a Chevy program more or less uh, if you're stranded right now of gas we're in an accident or your vehicle was stolen it will kind of uh, pinpoint where your vehicle is at and um, it's a great service to have and it's not that expensive either um, and then it obviously it'll give you step-by-step -step directions um, for OnStar navigation but it doesn't show anything on the display here um, but then for settings here at the time and date uh, rear seat reminder is just if you know if you left valuables in the back um, it's just uh, kind of beeps at you but you can shut that off language of course to your preference valet mode I showed this in the uh, uh, a different uh, I'm sorry drew a blank there in a different video uh, but I'll show it again so you hit valet mode put in your secret code to lock it I'm using a basic one one two three four lock all right so as you see all the apps went blank um, and even here, audio off, it's pretty basic. I mean, it doesn't show anything on the inside here. Um, I mean, it's pretty much so people can't touch it um, and mess with your apps. And I mean, if your phone's hooked up and it's in the car, you don't want someone getting that information. And there's this little button that moves the screen. So if there was valuables in the back and you can't do anything, you can't move it until you put in that valet coat mode. So, I mean, it's... Uh, or the code for the valley mode, I'm sorry. Uh, so it's a great feature to have, and I'll put this in here 
unlock your apps are back. Um, and of course, here's a little compartment head and I should have showed that first, but a USB port so you can hook up your phone if you wanted to. And just close this. I love that feature, it's just a great bonus to have. Um, I'll go back into settings here. Teen driver, I'll just get into a little bit of that. Um, continue. You can set a pin for your, I'm not gonna get too into that right here. Um, but I mean, if you want to pinpoint, hey, hey Paul, <laughs> great guy right there. Um, if you wanted to uh, let your, pretty much your teenager drive and want to set restrictions if they took it out for tonight, this here will pretty much monitor your speed, let you know when they gas it. You can set how far you want the, the speedometer to go, like what's the max. Um, and yeah, it's a, a, another nice feature done by Chevy. Uh, your radio settings, vehicle, Bluetooth, um, pretty explanatory stuff here. Display, Wi-Fi, rear camera. Um, I mean, other than that, I mean, it's everything's pretty self-explanatory there. Oops. There we go. Text again. I might put hit that, but I mean, you can see your text messages if your phone's already hooked up with it. Um, and then OnStar, you can call them straight from here or you can use it from your little dash here. I don't know if the camera's showing it or not, um, but yeah, it's a great feature to have. Like I said, OnStar is a, an awesome thing to have if your car is ever like stolen or something and knows exactly where it's at and OnStar is able to shut off the whole car itself so no one can get a hold of it and authorities can get to the way. So that's another bonus, a little background on OnStar there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as usual. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or if you want to see a certain vehicle um, that I could possibly talk about in a future video and go over, just let me know in the comments below. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day, guys.